Welcome back. Last time, we generated a PGP certifying master key, and three subkeys for, signing, encryption, and authentication. We did it the safest way possible, in Linux Tails. Offline. And we backed up the GPG data directory in an encrypted USB drive. So. This is today's plan. First, we will install the required packages that your YubiKey needs to work in Linux Ubuntu. Then we will move to Tails, running it on our air-gapped computer, where we will set up the YubiKey and change its default pins. Finally we will restore our backed up GPG data directory into our system, and burn our subkeys, into a YubiKey. So, this is what you will need to complete this guide. Your everyday PC, running Linux Ubuntu. An air-gapped computer. A Linux Tails bootable USB drive. Your GPG data directory safely stored on an external device. And a YubiKey. Let's do it. Log into your Linux Ubuntu and open a terminal. Insert your YubiKey. The following GPG command will show its contents. I get an error. I'm missing the daemon that manages smart cards for GPG. If you go ahead, and install just this package on your system, it will probably be enough to make your YubiKey work with all the functionalities that we are going to explore throughout this series. Just in case, I'm going to provide a list of 5 packages that you should install, if you want to make sure that your YubiKey will always work, no matter what you do with it. Only one of these 5 packages is installed on my system by default. It may be different for you. I'll go on and install them all. Again, let's try to show the contents of the YubiKey. It works. Take some time to do your own research and learn what those fields mean. Notice for now, that down below, the signature key, encryption key, and authentication key slots, are empty. They won't be for long. One of the packages that we installed, is the YubiKey Manager. A tool that allows you to configure a YubiKey via the command line. Let's ask for help to get some sense of what it can do. Take a minute to look over this output. You can do as trivial an operation as listing all connected devices. Or enabling and disabling specific applications on the YubiKey. We are interested in the OpenPGP command. More specifically in the touch policy for the PGP keys. By that I mean, we want the YubiKey to require physical touch of the device before any cryptographic operation is performed. Thus minimizing the possibility of remote hacking. The touch policy for all PGP keys, is turned off by default. We can print a screen detailed information about it with the command, info. Please notice that I am going to get an error. This is a common issue, but there's an easy fix for it. Make sure you have installed all the packages that I recommended at the beginning of this guide. And then physically remove the YubiKey from the USB port, and put it back in. I'll do that, and try the command again. It worked. And we can see that the touch policy for the keys we are interested in, is indeed, turned off. So let's turn them on. Let's ask help for the command, set, touch. Ah. 
I will specify type of key, followed by the policy action, on. Notice that, for performing this operation, I will have to provide an admin pin. This is set by default as, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We will manage the pins later, securely, in Linux Tails. Back to our command. Let's enable touch for the three PGP key types. Let's check, with the command, info. Touch policies updated. Now we move on, to Tails. Well, that was easy. Now I will boot Linux Tails from my air-gapped computer. First, to deal with that ridiculous pen and then to show you how to burn PGP subkeys into your YubiKey. Got everything ready? Air-gapped PC Tails bootable USB drive GPG data directory backup and your YubiKey One cool thing about Tails, is that YubiKeys work right out of the box. So, first thing, is to change the default pins. To do this, we will use a GPG tool, designed to work with smart cards. Let's ask for help. We'll need, admin commands. Let's take a look at them. If you read through these options, you will recognize some of the fields you saw, when retrieving information from the YubiKey. Here is where you can edit them. Let us manage the security pins first. Now, we have two pins. The regular security pin, and the admin pin. The regular pin is the password that unlocks the YubiKey, and allows it to perform cryptographic operations. It can be short and memorable, because after three failed attempts, the YubiKey access will be blocked. The admin pin, we already have dealt with. It is required to perform configuration and administrative operations. It also has the ability to unblock a blocked YubiKey, so you should choose a stronger passphrase. The admin pin is factory set has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When changing it, you can use an alphanumerical passphrase, not just numbers. The only requirement is that it must be 8 or more digits long. Let's try first providing a shorter passphrase and read the output in the terminal. We're still stuck with the original admin pin. Let's try now with the regular pin. This pin is factory set has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can use alphanumerical characters as well, and the only requirement is that it should be 6 or more characters long. Let's try to provide an invalid pin first. no change. So now, let's do everything right, and notice the output of your commands.
I have successfully changed both pins. Let's go back to the main menu. What happens if you lose your admin pin? Don't panic. You can factory reset your YubiKey. That would permanently erase all the data stored in it. Including subkeys. Your pins would be reset, to their default values. Let's do that. Done. So let me change the default pins again, before I move on. We are ready to flash our keys into the YubiKey. To do this, I need to restore my GPG data directory from the Lux encrypted volume that we created last time. Please, remember to delete the existing GPG directory first. Good. Everything is exactly as we left it. A master certifying key, and the three sub keys. For signing, encryption, and authentication. To flash these into the YubiKey, we will need our master key passphrase. So make sure you copy it, into your clipboard. To move our subkeys into the YubiKey, we will use Edit Key. We already used this command when we issued subkeys from our master key. It is a GPG management tool where we can configure most aspects of our PGP keys. Let's ask for help and please take a minute to look over the possible actions. We are going to be dealing with two commands. Key to card. To move a subkey into our YubiKey. And. Key. To select a specific key from our subkey ring. This is how the command, key, works. If you just type, key, it prints to screen all the keys that you hold. It can also toggle the selection of a specific subkey, on and off. For example. If I want to select my signing key, which is the first subkey on my list, I would type, key, 1. The asterisk marks the subkey as, selected. If now I want to unselect it, I just type, key, 1, again. Now I will select and unselect, keys 2 and 3. You get the idea. It is time to move our keys into the YubiKey. It must be done individually, one subkey at a time. Use the command, key, to select a key, and then the command, key to card, to export that key, to the YubiKey. To do this, you will need to provide your master key password, and the admin pin. And that's it. My signing subkey is already on my YubiKey. I'll repeat the same process for the encryption and authentication keys. Please, make sure that the correct key is selected each time. And we are done. Type, save, to save and exit. Let's show the contents of the YubiKey. 
success. My keys are on the YubiKey. Notice that by having physical access to your YubiKey, anyone can see fingerprints, UIDs, expiration dates, and other data that you write in the fields above. Now, list the secret keys that you hold in your GPG key ring. And pay close attention to what I'm going to say. Transferring keys to a YubiKey, using key to card, is a destructive, one-way operation only. Notice the greater than sign at each subkey. This indicates that the copy of these keys in your GPG data directory, is basically a stub. They are no longer usable to transfer to subsequent security key devices, nor to mint additional keys. So, never do this, from one of your original backups, but from a copy of it. As we've just done. Finally, I'm going to factory reset my YubiKey. I will lose the keys and the pins will go back to their default values. I just want to show you that you really can't screw anything up. Just nuke the YubiKey and start again. Notice that I will have to recreate the GPG data directory from my backup, so I can move the subkeys to the YubiKey again. See if you can follow me, as I do it. Once you know how to do it, it only takes a minute. Now shut down Tails, and everything will be forgotten. Now your YubiKey is loaded with signing, encryption, and authentication keys. Next time, the real fun begins. <laughs>